Hello guys, today I'm going to show you guys how you can implement IAP in app purchasing in your Unity project. The first thing you need to do is go to the service tab and look for in app purchasing. Make sure you turn it on, then click the import button. Try again. So this will take a little while, so I'll skip it for now. Now the import is ready. So create an empty gram object called IAP Manager. Then create a new script called IAP Manager also. Then double click it to edit it. So go to the Integrating Unity IP Guide, then look for the sample code section and copy everything inside the class. Right click, copy, go back to our script, replace the start and update method. Make sure you implement the iStore listener. And fix the error by using Unity Engine dot purchasing. So let's go down and look for the errors. Fix it by using system and the score manager, remove it as we don't have any score manager. Now the IAP manager should be a singleton manager. So derive it for our singleton class IAP manager. Mm, if you want to know what is about the singleton class, you can take a look on one of my tutorials that show you the implementation of the singleton class. So let's come back to the script and remove the comments. Uh, there are three types of product. Let's remove the subscription product as we are not covering subscription in this tutorial. And um, now this is a consumer product. So we need to provide an ID for consumer product. So Set it in goal 50 and the string is goal 52. And then we need to copy this line and place it for the second example goal 100 and goal 100 as well. So this is a non consumable product. Usually, the sample will be a no ads. So now we need to add the product ID into the builder. So place a Go 50 in, do the same thing for the Go 100. Also for the non consumable product, which is no app, make sure the product type is correct. Remove the subscription sample. Okay. Now the, then we need to replace the method name to buy 50 Go and replace the ID to Go 50. Remove the command, copy this method. And repeat the same for the goal 100. Now we repeat for the no ads also. So we need to buy no ads. And of course for the ID also. Remove the subscription and we need to look for a method called process purchase. Take a look on the error and replace it by our product ID go 50 and for the action we put it as to do first and repeat the same for the second else if statement go 100 and third one as well for the no x so this is a method that will be triggered when a purchase is successful you will check against the product ID and proceed to the action we define here. So go back to a Unity. As you can see, I have prepared a data manager object for testing purpose. The manager consists of two public fields. One is a go amount text and the other is no S button. Now let's take a look on the data manager script. The data manager script consists of two methods. One is the add go function for us to add go and display it on the UI. The second is the remove ads method, which will set the no ads boolean to true and also hide the no ads button. 
Now go back to IP Manager. Let's complete the action of the process purchase method by referencing the data manager instance, the add go method. Repeat the same thing for the go 100 by replacing 50 to 100. And lastly, for the no add, we will also trigger the remove add function with dot instance dot remove add function. Okay, now our IP manager is ready. Go back to Unity. Uh, sorry, I missed out something. Go back to IP manager. We need to create a new method called public string get product price from store. We'll take a string ID and if M store controller is not equal to na and product is not equal to na. This method will loop the localized string from the store to our buttons by using id dot metadata dot localized string. Else, it will return uh m an empty string. Okay, now make the is initialized method to public. And also remove the static from our tree product ID so that we can reference it from our singleton instance. Go back to Unity. Now we need to create a new script for our button. So like click create a new C sharp script by button. Okay, double click to edit it. Now create a new enum item type. Go 50. Go 100 and no apps. Create a public field, public item type, item type, so we can set it on our button. Create another field, text, um, price, text. We need to use a Unity Engine.ui. Create another field, string, default text. Okay, now on the start method, we will set the default text equal to string of the button. Then, remove the update method, create a public void, click by method. Make a switch statement on the item type. If case item type equal to go 50, then IP manager dot instant dot by 15 go then break copy this and paste it for three times two times and repeat for go 100 by 100 go also lastly no ads and by no ads okay now we need to create a core routine to load the price text load price routine then while if IP major dot in is initialized equal to false then we will keep waiting a to be done now we need to create a string called loaded price equal to empty string then copy this switch statement paste it over here then replace the function to Get product price from store and reference it to the individual product ID. Go 100 and lastly for the no ads also. Oh, no ads. Okay, fix the error by. Mm, it should be by no ads. Yep, there is it. So, and lastly, don't forget to start the core routine of the loop price routine. Yep, now go back to unit 8. Wait, I need to set the price tag to the loader price eight with the default tag and the loader price. Uh, I forget to update 
the loader price from by the result from the IP manager all should be updated then now go to unity at the buy button script buy button script and place a text inside at the on click listener look for click buy do the same thing for the buy 100 also at the buy button at the tag set to go 100 and at the click listener click buy lastly the no ads at buy button set to no ads and place a tag the last listener for click buy okay now we are ready to test our script click play yep as you can see the ip is initialized try the button yep buy 50 success buy 100 success also let me try buy 100 again okay buy no ad okay the price is loaded correctly to zero point zero one dollar okay okay now we need to create a new button like create new ui button called restore button and this button is only for ios when you have sell any non-consumable product if you only sell consumable product this button is not needed we set the button position set the test to restore then move it to below then now we need to create a script for this button called restore button double click to edit it now remove the update method it's not we need to check if the platform is ios let application dot platform equal to iphone mm, ah. wait let me go to ip and look for the restore method yep copy this checking and paste it over here this will check whether the platform is iphone ios player so let's reverse the condition if the platform is not equal to iphone player and not equal to ox player then that means this is an android or this is not ios platform so then we need to hide the button game object dot set active put force as a parameter then we need to create a new method called public void click restore this method will be trigger the ip manager dot instant dot restore purchase method this is only required for the app store because google play store will handle the restore purchase automatically so Add the listener to the look for click restore. Uh, hey, uh, wait, I forget to add the restore script. So now look for the restore button, click restore. Yep, when we click the play, then the restore button will hidden because we are not on the iOS platform. So I think that's it for this tutorial. Take note that those product ID must be same with the product ID that you configure at your Google Play Store or App Store in-app purchase section. The link for Unity IAP integration guide will be in the description. If you need to check out more about Singleton, you can refer to the Singleton tutorial video. Lastly, I hope this tutorial helps you. If it did, please give this tutorial a like and also subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.